We're here at SeaWorld Orlando with Mike Denninger. How are you doing today, Mike? I'm doing great. Uh, what's your position here at SeaWorld? So I'm Corporate Vice President of Theme Park Development. Okay. Uh, new ride is open. I rode last week. It's amazing. Uh, what are your feelings on it? Does it meet up to your expectations? And I, actually, I had very high expectations for this ride, and this ride over delivers. It, it is really, it's, it's everything I wanted in this ride experience. You know, not just the height and the speed, but the airtime was so important mm -hmm. to me, and how we deliver it with varying ways and various types of elements, and Mako has got it. It does, it does. I rode last night, I love it at night, totally different experience. Uh, can't see the bottom of the first drop there, and you're going into the big hole, you're going into nowhere, I love that. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the design process? Uh, well, you know, what's, what's great about what we do and the way we design attractions is that we start, our canvas is nature. And it is this natural world that we have all around us. So we're not tied to any particular genre or any one of those type of, type of things. I mean, so we connect our guests with the natural world. And we do this by creating experiences that matter. Mm -hmm. And I say that because it's not just a roller coaster. I mean, it is a fantastic <laughs> roller coaster, but we have an entire realm here that's dedicated just to the shark. And peop the shark gets a bad rap out there. Yep. And so yep. we want people to be connected. So they ride this coaster, which is Mako, and the front of the train, if you saw the front of the yes. train, great thematic piece. We did that big reveal for mm -hmm. it. Beautiful train. I mean, you want we want people to feel like they are the Mako, because the Mako is one of the fastest sharks in the ocean. It's known for its speed and its agility. Well, guess what? So is this guy right here. Yeah. Mako the ride has great speed, great agility, and this really unbelievable airtime. Love the ride, like I said, can't go wrong with the B&M. It is so smooth. If you haven't been to SeaWorld Orlando and ride it yet, it opens officially tomorrow morning. Come on down, give it a try. You'll love it. Thanks a lot, Mike. Yeah, thanks. Have a good, good one. Good to see you again. You too. We're here with Brian at SeaWorld Orlando to talk about Mako. So I know you're all about the theming. Tell us about the theming. Well, even more so the experience, right? Okay. It's experience right. design, which theming is a huge part of the storytelling. So the Mako, it's obvious. She's right behind us. She's world. She's like Orlando record-breaking, awesome coaster. But she's the centerpiece of the overall land. So we're really known here at SeaWorld of building holistic, complete experiences, mm -hmm. something for everybody so they can learn about these amazing creatures, the sharks. So we built a new land. It's called Shipwreck Reef. It's a cool land. Shipwrecks, man-made objects have fallen to the bottom of the ocean. Ooh. The barnacles, the corals are taking it over. Here come the fish, and guess what comes after the fish? The sharks, Shucks. right? And the good news is the sharks are after the fish, they're not after us. So we're just right. visiting <laughs> in their world. And the guests will get to go through that experience, see real sharks. Soon we'll be petting and touching real sharks here as well in a couple weeks. So all kinds of great things are happening, and of course, being the shark on the Mako, yes. you know, she's a fearless coaster and she is completely amazing. Have you ridden yet? I have ridden plenty of times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that first drop, I love it. Everything. Uh, yeah, everything. What's your favorite element? I love the first drop. First, my favorite thing to do on the first drop is to wave at all the tiny coasters in Orlando <laughs> as we kind of breeze over top of them and then dive down to the lake. That's my favorite part. Bye, guys. Here we go. Right right down. And it's right to the water, and it's a really wonderful drop. Um, and it's got a nice little flat section. You hover over the water and then back up to the first turn. It's probably my favorite pacing part cool. of the ride. Um, the design process. Now that it's completed, is there anything you would have changed? You got it 100%. Oh, we would always change. Yeah, okay. Creatives are never done. It's <laughs> never done and it's never right. So so there's lots of things uh, we, we would like to change. But the thing I'm probably most proud of is the ride is clearly amazing mm -hmm. and, and perfect. But really for our company to continue to invest in information and storytelling that's, that's not ride related, but it's animal related. Right. It's the way that we're telling the SeaWorld story of the future. Uh, and, and what we call it is creating experiences that matter. You can go to any place and ride rides and have experiences, but ones that really stick to you mm -hmm. with meaning and purpose and entertainment and fun, that's a home run for us. And it's really what you can do only here at SeaWorld Orlando. It's true. Yep. Great realm. Love the whole thing. A lot of education tied in. You knocked it out of the park, Brian. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Nice talking with you. Have a good one.